What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We're back today and we are talking about another rye whiskey. This is Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. One of my favorite rye whiskeys I own um, from a great company, Michter's. Now Michter's recently had some turnover at the top. Pam Heilman used to be their master distiller over there. Now it's Dan McKee and he kind of took over the reins. His first release was actually the M10 um, of 2019. So, um, if you don't know, Michter's does source their whiskey. Of course, it's undisclosed, their mash bills, where they get it from. But this is one of my favorite expressions from Michter's, um, their barrel strength rye. This is 109.6 proof. Of course, that proof is going to vary depending on which barrels they bat they batch together. And you may notice that that proof is a little bit low. Um, you think of barrel proof, you think, oh, 125, 130, you know, some of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. There's really a reason why it's only 109.6. So Michter's does something where they enter their whiskey into the barrel at a lower entry proof. So usually it's 103 proof that they enter that whiskey into the barrel. 103 is ridiculously low. And I actually, when I did the Michter's tour, which I did put an episode out about that. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out my Michter's Distillery Tour episode. They talked about this. This was one of the distinguishing factors between Michter's and other whiskey companies is that entry proof. And it did make a big difference. They let us try... Um, a Michter's, just a normal rye that was at 125 entry proof and then one that was at 103 entry proof. And the difference was night and day. I mean, you could really tell a difference. That 103 proof, in my opinion, was much better, much easier to drink and just tasted great. But let's get into the barrel strength rye here. No age statement on this. Again, undisclosed where it's from, how old it is. We just know it's barrel proof and it's good. So let's look at color here. Mm. Good medium color, uh, pretty dark. I, I'm not sure how it's showing up to, to you all, but it's pretty dark in my glass here. And being the barrel strength, that kind of makes sense, you know. Let's go into the nose. Mm. That is just classic rye whiskey on the nose. It's got a nice pepperiness, a great spice on the nose. Now the dill note is coming through quite a bit for me. When I first opened this bottle, I didn't get a huge presence of that dill note, but the dill is really seeming to come through a lot now. Typically when those dill notes show for me, it's usually a younger rye whiskey. You know, I don't know, again, we don't know the age on this. So if I was guessing, it's probably maybe six years, which really is not that young for a rye in my opinion. But you can, Absolutely smell the char in this as well. Um, it's not to the level of like the uh, the Michter's toasted barrel, uh, toasted barrel finish. That's a whole nother layer of, of char, which we'll we'll go we'll review that soon. But this you can still smell that barrel char. Citrus is all over this as well. I mean, you're getting like the lemongrass, the orange. Quite a few baking spices in this too. Usually the baking spices come at me more in a bourbon versus a rye whiskey, but I'm getting a lot of baking spices up on the nose as well. Let's give it a sip here. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Wow. Great, great mouth coating. Nice long finish. Even at 110 proof, I was figuring, you know, it may not drink as, it may not leave those barrel proof notes that I typically get, but it, it really does. I mean, a very nice creaminess for a rye whiskey, excellent mouthfeel, excellent finish. Let's give it another sip. Pretty much everything on the nose translates to the palate, honestly. Um, the, the, the pepperiness, a little bit of spice, actually some cinnamon showing up now on the center palette here. The dill is still present on the palette, but it's not as much as the nose for me. The nose was just that kind of overpowering dill, but on the palate, it's much better. Man, I could just, this is a dangerous bottle. It's a dangerous bottle because I could just sip this thing all day. It's that smooth. You get a, a nice warming sensation going down. Again, for only 100, for 110, I always say this, only only 110, only 115 
when I think of barrel proof, but you got to think it's 115. That's still <laughs> 110. That's still really hot for normal whiskey drinkers. So I'm sorry. A lot of you know I'm a big, I'm a huge barrel proof guy. So high proof is what I what I prefer. Um, I love it. it. Gives me those flavors I love. This lives up to the hype. I mean, this is just a phenomenal whiskey. As I mentioned, one of my favorite ryes that I own. They're doing the right the right thing at Michter's. This bottle retail is about seventy dollars retail. Um, secondary markets, it's going to be probably pushing one hundred and fifty if you can get it. The distillery will sell this occasionally. You have to actually, you know, pretty much be one of the first people there. They may only have a bottle or two out. And it's right around that $100, $110 price. Um, maybe a little bit cheaper depending on time of year and whatnot. But I, in my opinion, this is one of those whiskeys that lives up to the money. Um, I don't think I would pay secondary, like $150 for it. But retail, it's an all-day, everyday buy. I mean, if you can get it at that price, you are not going to want to pass up this bottle. Um, you're going to love it. If you like rye whiskey, it's for you. If you like barrel strength bourbon or rye whiskey, I think it's very friendly. Very friendly for a bourbon drinker who's not huge into rye. Again, that dill is masked more on the palate, so I really think it's a very friendly rye for being the proof it is. You're going to like this bottle. Don't pass up on it. Thank you all so much for watching this review today. If you like these types of videos, please do hit that like button and that subscribe button. Let me know if you've tried the barrel strength rye. If not, what's your favorite Michter's expression, even from their core line? Um, I know the Michter's toasted sour mash just went out recently. Haven't had a chance to try that yet, but I am curious. But I want to hear what your favorite is. Thank you all so much for watching this review today. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Stay insane, everyone.